Welcome students of NAST. My name is Stephen Versachi and I'll be your librarian for this video. The aim of this video is to help all students but mostly those that are away from campus or even in other towns or other countries. So what I will try to do is to show you how to access our electronic resources from home or work wherever you may be. First of all to find the library's website you can either go to library.nast.na or you could just use the link from the main NUST uh, page, which you can see up here, library. Use that and you'll find our page. Through the library's portal, the library's website, you will be able to access all our electronic resources. What kind of electronic resources do we have? We have e-books, we have e-journals and the articles inside them, and we have internally created information, for example, uh, thesis and dissertations that we are load onto our own database that you can use. Now, if you are on campus and you want to use electronic resources, it's very easy. All you do is, is you go up here to resources, go across to resources on campus, and there you can access all the databases, see them and click on them and use them if you would like. However, if you are away from campus, the situation is slightly different. What you will then have to do is, is go to Resources, go to Access Resources Off Campus and click there, and then you will have to do a login. Now don't worry about my login, as a staff member mine is slightly different, but what students will have to do is read the instructions and use their student number and their password that they have been given. This is the same password that they use for other NAS services. If you get stuck and you can't get logged in, you can either phone this number if you're away from campus and ask for someone in IT to help you or you can come into the library and go to the Internet Cafe. Right, so let's log in. And when you log in, the menu of databases looks slightly different but it still leads to the same databases. Why do you have to log in when you're off campus? Well, these databases are provided by vendors and we pay a lot of money to use them. Okay. So when you're on campus, these vendors know our network address and they will let people in automatically. But if you are off campus, you are on another network and when you try to get in, they won't know that you're a NAS student. So you are going to have to log in and use a proxy s a system to be able to fool these uh, databases into thinking you're on campus. Right, you can go into them and you can search these databases one by one if you like example academic search premiere and you can continue and you can search and pretty much all databases work pr uh, much the same however they might look different but at the end of the day they all pretty much work the same way however if you want to avoid having to search databases one by one because you might not know which database is best for you you will see we've been instance have some are business databases, some are healthcare databases, some are law and so forth. So if you want to avoid that and get as broad a search as possible, what you can do is, is you can go here to the library's website after you have logged in and you can use the library search. Now this is a library discovery search which means this search option here will search not just the books in our catalog, but it'll search what ebooks we have in our databases, it'll search what journal articles we have in our databases, and the Anangu repository where we keep our thesis and dissertations. So let's do an example. Uh, we want to search for, um, let's say, business ethics. And we can see it starts suggesting it. And I click there. Just give it a moment. and you'll see there are over 3 million results. All right. So the first thing you'll want to do is to bring that to a manageable number. So what you're going to do is, is you're going to click on full text because you only want those items that are available to you in full text and not those that are just citations telling you about an item. Brings down that number by quite a bit to 1.4 million. Then you can say I only want those published within a certain age range. So say for instance your lecturer said you only use items less than 10 years old you could say 2011 to 2022 we click enter
and it will show us items that are newer and in full text. And you can carry on looking at the filters if you like, or what you can start doing is adding more keywords. So maybe you might want to say, I want to know about business ethics in Africa. And I click search. And there we can see items. Okay, now I'm not going to re refine this any further. You can do that on your own. But what you can now start looking at the results, and you can see, for instance, here it's telling us about a book that is on the shelf. If you're a distance student, that's not going to help you. So what you are interested in, for instance, is ebooks and academic journal articles. All right, you can refine this here by saying I only want to look at ebooks or academic journals and things like that. So let's do that. Let's say we are looking for ebooks. And we see the book there. And if I wanted to open it in full text, I can click it over there. And then it sh says EPUB full text. So I clicked on there. There we see it shows us the book, the details of the book, the different chapters, and so forth. And you can start reading it, or you can start downloading chapters within the permissible 100 pages that you're allowed to copy. But you can read the whole book online if you like. So for instance, I can click there. And you can start reading. Or you can just jump to the chapters directly. Okay, there we go. So this is, for instance, how you could deal with a ebook. There are more details to be known, but this is just a short introductory video. There are ways to download the book temporarily, but I won't be going into that now. Now, if, for instance, you were after journal articles, you would unclick that. and then just say academic journals and here we see articles that you will find in academic journals you can just look at what it si says here academic journal academic journal you will see often they will include the PDF full text or you might have to click on full text finder and do a few clicks before you find the article All right. So you, what you do is, is you scan the headings of the articles. You look for one that looks interesting to you. Business Ethics Disclosure Corporate Governance sub 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 in Africa. I'm going to open it in a new window. And then I can click on Full Text Finder if, if I'm interested. Click there. Click there. And it takes me straight to the database. We can see the database is the Emerald database. I can look at it. I can read the abstract to find out if it's what I need. And if it is what you need, you can just click there. And you should be able to get the article in full text in PDF, which means you can save it and read it at your leisure. Right, let's go back again. Now you can carry on searching like this. What I do want to show you as well is, is our internal database, which is the Unongu repository. So this is created by NUST library, and what we put in here is all items that are created, published within NUST. So you'll find things like um, dissertations and theses, you'll find speeches, and all sorts of things. So you can either do a search on the top there, or you can scan by faculty. So let's say human sciences. You can say, for instance, say communication, and then you can look through them and you can pick a thesis if you want to read it, get the abstract, view open, and there you can read and download the full thesis if you like in PDF. Right, this is just a short introduction about the electronic resources. There is a lot more to know. If you want to contact your librarian directly, what you can do is, is you can go to research. You can go to Faculty and Research Support, which shows different librarians for the different faculties, and you can find information about them, and you can email them or phone them. Right. 
Thank you for your time and please look at the other videos for more information.